What do the coins even do? Man, that ramp is so long. Oh my god. A UFO stole my ball? How is that even possible? I wasn't even playing that long. I guess if I wanted to play pinball, I should have played real pinball, not Flipnik Ultimate Pinball. I mean, what was Capcom thinking? This game, it's just so weird. <sighs> but what's a girl to do in New York City when she wants to play some pinball? It's so hard to come by. I even heard it was banned for a number of years. I wonder if it's still banned. I mean, that would make sense. Any of the arcades that I can find, most of them don't have pinball. And the ones that do, well, it's usually off in some dark corner, really badly lit and not serviced at all. Nobody's ever playing it. And then there's that whole rivalry between video gamers and pinball players. I guess gamers are supposed to not like pinball players and pinball players aren't supposed to like video gamers, but wait. I like video games and I like pinball. Does that make me weird? Hmm. Well, I know who we could ask. This guy named Levy. He fixes pinball machines in New York City and he has a whole showroom filled with pinball machines from all different decades. He knows a ton about pinball and I bet he might even let me play some of his pinball games. So let's go ask him some questions. Come on. Hey everybody, Little Miss Gamer here this week interviewing this awesome guy, Levy Naiman, who has a pinball showroom here in New York City. He fixes pinball machines, he knows a ton all about pinball machines, and we're going to talk to him today. I had heard that pinball was once outlawed in New York City. Do you know anything about you that? You heard correctly. Can you tell me the history of that? Um, uh, yes, I can. Pinball got big in like the Great Depression because it only took a nickel. Um, keep in mind these games didn't have flippers. Bally started playing around with payout machines, um, which were basically gambling machines. You know, if it bounced in the right spot, you'd win 15 cents or something like that. Even if the games weren't paying out, um, when you win a free game, uh, the credit counter goes up. Plenty of places you could trade that for a beer, you could trade it for money. Um, so pinball got, I mean, not completely undeserved, undeservedly, but it got a reputation uh, as gambling equipment. People started to pick up on it as something they could, you know, I guess politicians were into it and, and anybody who felt like, uh, like starting a righteous group of some sort. And it got a lot, uh, outlawed in a lot of places, uh, including New York. There's this famous picture of uh, Mayor LaGuardia, I guess when he was running for office, uh, like, you know, smashing pinball machines with a sledgehammer. And they actually dumped hundreds of them over into the East River. Um, I can't imagine any other in the best shape now. So it's actually a graveyard for pinball machines that you uh, prefer? Well, among other things, yeah. There's oh. plenty of things buried. Yeah. <laughs> the flipper was invented basically to counteract that. Um, the idea was like we need to introduce some skill into this if we want to keep doing it. In 1976, they finally legalized pinball in New York um, due to the tireless efforts of a guy named Roger Sharp. Um, who took a pinball machine to City Hall and like played it in front of the, uh, you know, the City Council or whatever. But uh, it's legal now, so you know, yeah, don't, don't worry about that. I like the cut on that one. It's great. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. And you can see when you fire these things up, it's a pretty big production. Um, you're, basically, it's got to get in its reset state. So the drop mm -hmm. target banks are going to reset. Uh, the scores are going to go back to zero. Uh, your balls are going to go back up to five. 
This is from 71. They only made like four, four or 500 of them. Uh, and the main reason I like it is because it's got so many drop targets, and drop targets are just kind of cool for me. Um, All right, I'm going to nudge this time. Yeah, I'll tell you when. Okay. Uh, basically, the time to do it is when it's facing this thing. Okay. And try and force it off of that into the drop targets. This thing in the middle, you yeah. kind of want to avoid it unless these are lit. Um, the kind of okay. flow in this game is a circular. Uh -huh. You want to kind of send it up here, hit some drop targets, bring uh -huh. it around here, hit some more, and then come on back. Okay. And you're in business. One thing that I like is like flow. Um, I like when you can nail a shot and it feeds it to another shot, you can hit that. Um, a game like this, Star Trek, um, if you don't miss, I mean, theoretically, you can keep the ball moving forever. But on the other hand, um, if you're like somebody who smokes a lot of pot, you might not want a game like that. You might want something which is more stop and go where the ball goes into a hole, something happens, you can recollect your thoughts, and then the ball gets uh, kicked out again. So something that I've noticed in some of the pinball games is that you have a little pin in the middle between the flippers sometimes. Yes. And sometimes it seems like there's less room between the flippers, and sometimes there seems like there's a ton of room between the flippers, and then no pin. And it seems very unfair. Can you talk about that? Well, first of all, life isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second of all, I would kind of compare it to baseball parks, how they're, they're all kind of different dimensions and all different shapes. If it has the pin there, it's probably there for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, the Terminator game I have, the ball will come down the middle a lot, so they've got that, uh, that thing there to help you bail it out. But what if there's like a ton of space and no pin? Well, what if there's a ton of space in the middle, but mm -hmm. there's, uh, those alleys are closed up on the side? You know, that's a mm -hmm. trade-off too. You've got mm -hmm. you to look at the big picture, okay. much like life. Well, not so much a push. You want to yeah. do more of a... Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't think you're going to be able to muscle the game around. It just around. feels so against my core, no, but I will... Just give it a whack. There you go. All right. All right. Ow. I hurt a little. This is a little more uh, what I like to see. you got uh, your truck stop waitress. Mm -hmm. um, she's definitely, uh, you know... She's working it. Delivering her coffee with a smile there. Right. And, uh, knows what else she's delivering to the truck drivers. Uh, it's a little dusty, but I think you can make the magic happen here. That. You see, again, different sounds, kind of different mm -hmm. action. I was going to suggest a slap save, but... Oh, there you oh, go. Oh. Oh. Okay, I need to be more Definitely intense. To, yeah, and uh, maybe, maybe a grunt or something. <laughs> oh, that's good, yeah. <laughs> Would you say that the, I don't want to call pinball a sport, but the, uh, it's not a hobby though either. Yeah, it that's... It can be. What, what would you classify? <sighs> Honestly, I, I kind of go, I mean, it does exist and it's, it's not really a sport. There's some people who try to say it is, but, you know, I mean, I've seen some real fat people play pinball while smoking <laughs> a cigarette and with like a beer in the other hand and... You know, is bowling a sport? You know, I don't know. I mean, I kind of think that anything you can do, like while drinking a beer, isn't a sport. Um, it's not really a game either. I mean, it's not exactly, you know, Scrabble. It requires, you know, uh, hand-eye coordination, and it requires a lot of reasoning on the newer games. You've got to know, you know, how to plot a strategy. You don't just whack away at it. All right, now you got to start aiming a little bit. <laughs> okay. Nice. So you took out that whole batch of drop targets. Oh, they came back. They did come back. Oh, oh but look, I got a thing. You just got an extra ball. Woo! So we had our go. So you can see here, your, um, that's your match number. If that would have uh -huh. matched the last two digits here, you would have oh. won yourself a free game.